Today, a mayday call has come in from a vessel just outside New Haven Harbor, and the lifeboat has been scrambled. Mayday could be someone in the water, someone on fire, someone sinking. It's classed as a pop emergency. The New Haven lifeboat is one of 346 operating from stations throughout the UK and Ireland. Founded in 1824, the RNLI has saved over 140,000 people at a cost of more than 800 lives lost in service. The crew are absolutely brilliant. When you bear in mind that they are uh, volunteers, they come from all walks of life. The Mayday call has come from a yacht which is stranded directly in the shipping channel at the entrance to the port. His brother's jammed. Uh, he's quite close to the box. We need to get on the way. We've received the Mayday. The yacht's rudder has snapped, and the sailor on board has lost steerage. Can you confirm where he is? Yeah, I believe it's the further shot away from, uh, from us now. OK, mate, we're, we're not too far. We didn't have a chat with him. Yeah, okay. Mayday is a distress signal used when loss of life could be imminent. Paul can see there's no immediate threat, but also notices that the sailor is only a teenager. All the panic and put the Mayday out. It probably shouldn't have been a mayday, to be honest, but the guy's obviously panicking. As you see, he's sitting in the centre of the channel in New Haven and just wants to tow in. I'll put the bow in, I'll just have a chat with him, and then we get a line on him. All right. I mean, you get these people coming down for the weekends in the summer, going out on their boats. There is no licence, apart from fishermen and commercial people on the sea. Anyone can get a boat, take it out, and not know the correct procedures, putting a distress call out, or even using the radio properly. Hi there, can you hear me? Did you put the radio out? Yeah? Watch it out, Despite the potential dangers of being out on the water, under current UK law, boating for pleasure around the coast or out to sea is open to all and doesn't require a licence. What's the problem? Is your rudder broken? I've got no steerage. You've got no steerage? No. OK, is your anchor down at all? Or... No, I'm just drifting. OK, stand by there, yeah? The lifeboat crew needs to get this stricken sailor out of the shipping lane. There's a line for you. But the teenager is shaken and is reluctant to go to the bow of his dinghy to tie on the tow rope. You there, Mike? Hey, guys. Yeah, just let you know, uh, he's not happy being on his own. He wants someone else on with him. But getting the lifeboat alongside such a small vessel creates a challenge for Paul. Got 44 ton of boat here. It's not an awful lot of sea, but uh, obviously we don't want to cause any damage. dinghy's radio has stopped working and the distress call was made just in the nick of time. Safely in the harbour, Paul lands the vessel in the marina and calls the Coast Guard to take over. The Coast Guard being the government one service, they will have a chat with him to educate this young man about his radio procedure and put the Mayday out and what channel to put it out on. We can point out, but we've got no right to do that. We just go out and bring people in. Coast Guard will uh, have a chat with him and put him by. He was a young lad. He was, um, I guess, a bit embarrassed to be able to call the lifeboat out. First time he'd ever done that. Um, 
and um, he was very, very grateful for the help. I think he was, he was a bit scared and didn't know what to do. He was a little bit flustered. So he, he, he appreciated the help, and he's safe now.